Welcome to this video on office procedures based on the manual of office procedures 2010 revised and updated by the Nagaland Civil Secretariat. This video will address processes related to dark receipt, registration and distribution. Let us first look at what is dark. DAC includes every type of written communication such as letter, telegram, interdepartmental note, file, fax, email, wireless message which is received whether by post or otherwise in any department for its consideration. There are four processes related to handling DAC. Receipt, Acknowledgement, Registration and Distribution. Let us discuss the receipt of DAC. There are five situations one needs to be aware of with regards to the receipt of DAC. DAC received during office hours. During office hours, the entire DAC of the department, including those addressed to ministers or officers, will be received in the central registry. Where, however, immediate important DAC addressed to the ministers or officers by name is sent through special messenger directly to the addresses themselves. It will be received by them or their personal staff. DAC received when officers are on long leave. In case an officer is on long leave or has retired or left the office after completion of his or her tenure, the incumbent, concerned or the officer just below the concerned officer dealing with the subject will receive the immediate references except confidential letters. In case none of the above mentioned officers is in position, the central registry will receive such letters. In no case, immediate important letters should remain unreceived. Dark received outside office hours. Outside office hours, dark will be received by the addressee himself at his residence if marked immediate and addressed by name. In such cases, the officer will normally be intimated in advance over telephone about the dark being delivered at his residence. In all other cases, dark will be received outside office hours by the officer designated by the department concerned to receive such dark. Dark received via email. Communication received through emails in the department will be downloaded centrally in the computer center of the department by a designated person who will forward the same to the central registry. Such communications addressed to ministers or officers will be downloaded by them or their personal staff. Dark received via fax. Communications received through fax should be immediately photocopied as the text of the fax messages fades with the passage of time. Let us now look at the acknowledgement of DAC. The receipt of DAC except ordinary postal DAC will be acknowledged by the recipient signing his name in full and in ink with date and designation. The acknowledgements of email received will, as far as possible, be sent electronically. Once acknowledged, DAC needs to be registered in six steps. Let's look at each of these. Opening of the DAC. Urgent DAC will be separated from other DAC and dealt with first. All covers except those addressed to ministers by name or those bearing a security grading will be opened by the central registry. On opening DAC, 
the central registry will check enclosures and make a note of any item found missing. All open dark as well as the covers of unopened classified dark will be date stamped. The sorting of dark. The entire dark will then be sorted out section wise. To facilitate this, the central registry will keep a list showing the allocation up to date of the subjects to various sections. Identifying dark to be registered. The following categories of dark will be registered by the central registry in the dark register. These include Telegrams, wireless messages, fax messages, telex messages and email messages received from the computer center, registered postal dark, interdepartmental files, court summons and receipts enclosing valuable documents, parliament questions, assembly questions, resolutions, cut motions and references seeking information relating to them, unopened inner covers containing classified dark, Letters from members of parliament or MLAs, any other category covered by departmental instructions and envelopes received without contents or with material not marked to any officer will be registered with necessary comments in the remarks column of the dark register. Maintaining registers. The central registry will maintain one or more dark registers as may be found convenient. In no case, however, will a single register be operated by two or more dealing assistants. Where more than one dark register is maintained, each register will be identified with an alphabetical code, letter A, B or C and so on. CR numbers. The CR number assigned to dark manually in the dark register or through the computer will be indicated on the dark in the appropriate place in the stamp affixed on it. Electronic registration. Dark received may however be registered through computer wherever such a facility is available in central registry. In that case, the dark register and invoice register need not be maintained manually. Once registered, the dark needs to be distributed. The central registry will prepare an invoice separately for each branch to which the dark is to be distributed. The dark along with invoice will be sent to the branch concerned and acknowledged by the diarist. The invoice duly signed will then be returned to the central registry where it will be filled branch wise and date wise. Alternatively, dark may be distributed an acknowledgement obtained in messenger books or dark register maintained branch wise. The above procedure will also apply to the dark meant for ministers or officers which will be acknowledged by their personal staff. Thank you for watching this video on dark receipt, registration and distribution. Thank you for watching this video on office procedures based on the Manual of Office Procedures 2010, revised and updated by the Nagaland Civil Secretariat.